Konami have provided the game code, but all the thoughts and comments are my own. Contra Operation Galuga follows Konami's overall trend of making things right with its franchises. After Metal Gear Survive, they offer a compilation of Metal Gear Solids along with a remake of MGS3. After the fiasco with Contra Rogue Corps, Konami decided to give the development effort to way forward, previously notable for its more than decent work with Shantae series. The result is Operation Galuga, or Contra OG, and this abbreviation is definitely intended to mean that Contra is is getting a reboot while remaining true to its core. With quite modest but still growing interest in revamping the old-school titles coming from both indie and AAA companies, the release of Operation Galuga definitely fits at the right place at the right time. The looks of the main characters, their feel and control, addition of more weapons, more skills and more characters always felt like an improvement and refreshment during quite short but concentrated and enjoyable story campaign. Operation Galuga starts with the most basic premise of our main characters, the Commander parody and Rambo parody, entering the mission on Galuga Archipelago to investigate the terrorist attack that as usually is more than just some struggle for power, resources and self-fulfillment. We immediately discover that the enemies have alien origin, there is some legendary spiritual stuff happening that by the way explains the nature of Contra and why our characters are capable of double jumping while shooting, climbing cliffs and handling all kinds of weapons. I won't spoil the story anymore if you are interested, but short impression it's basic but well made, like a traditional pizza margarita, it's simple but it's done right and therefore feels satisfying, especially because the voice acting is on point, the cutscenes are short and never annoying, and honestly, they contribute quite well to the pacing of the game, making the highly dynamic shooting scenes even more intense after the quieter and slowly story scenes with characters just talking their mission objectives. Running, gunning, dying and starting again is the core gameplay loop of Contra OG. We start with just two main characters and eventually unlock more with each new level. New characters behave differently in combat, like Ariana who has less health points but can slide through incoming attacks, or a slow but sturdy Stanley Ironside who can fly, has different guns but has almost no agility like the OG characters do. Every character brings a sense of new experience and feel to the gameplay, which leaves a lot of space for replaying and experiencing the game fresh. I like that Operation Galuga feels less like old-school Contra and feels more like Metal Slug, where defeats are a bit more forgiven, but still make you feel responsible for your defeats. Despite the gameplay feeling more like bullet hell, with each new run and repetition you know the level better, you adapt to the enemies quicker and realize how to beat the bosses better. And that was me playing on normal difficulty with health points. By the way, the difficulty and level of challenge is adjustable, be it either easy or hard, or if you want to have the completely old school feel, you can have no health bars but one hit death like an OG version. For me, as a casual and being not used to side scrollers, run and gun shooters, it took 4 hours and almost 170 deaths to beat the game. And it was still not the easiest task, as the enemies hit from all sides, you frequently find yourself lost between your own bullets and enemy shots and the bosses are no joke here. Some are easier than other, sure, but they are right between challenging and BS, which is definitely a good thing. The gameplay is also directly affected by the perk system that you unlocked during playing. Characters can equip up to two perks that give quite substantial advantage to you and make the game more accessible but never too easy. There are also weapon upgrade system. If you pick a weapon of the same time twice, it becomes more powerful and you can even overload it to have a one-time ultimate ability capable of cleaning the screen of the enemies. I was also quite surprised with the graphics and the art style of Contra OG. Sure, the character models lacked some sharpness and anti-aliasing, but you cannot say that I noticed that during all the running and gunning around. The designs of enemies are greatly varied, directly correspond the level theme, and behave differently gameplay-wise. I also like how the levels vary from traditional tropical military bases to secret labs to even ancient temples and the insides of alien monsters. They also feel original and never recycled, while allowing you to progress them slightly differently. 
Certainly, there are driving levels, chasing the trains and climbing on top of the final boss's head to beat him, but these cliches are greatly balanced with the camera changes, shifting the gameplay scenes from 2D to 3D looks and feels. The camera spins, the changes of perspective, the changes of direction all make every level feel like a new adventure that never feels boring. Controls could be improved. Especially if you do not have a gamepad, Contra OG provides an option to play with the keyboard, but you need to remap them to your taste. It does not allow for the mouse targeting and therefore you'll be a lot better playing with a controller that has a D-pad. This provides for better gameplay experience if you want to play with up to three more people at the same time. But I'm a huge advocate of more options being better than limiting how the people are going to play. The same concerns the multiplayer, I'd be more excited to play with friends or even random people online. The online element could bring even more people to the game, create online challenges, online leaderboards and even provide more seasonal online content, because the gaming of 2024 feels incomplete without seasonal content, right? But I believe that Konami is not done with the series as it leaves a lot of room in the story and gameplay to expect a sequel. Right now, the formula of future Contra games feels more than solid. It just needs more control options, especially for those who want to play with mouse and keyboards, and the inclusion of online multiplayer, as not everyone has more than one gamer in their household. So, while waiting for the sequel, you can keep on playing with different difficulty modes, beat the arcade mode, beat all the challenges and make it with the least number of deaths possible. In total, Contra Operation Galuga has pleasantly surprised me and has shown that such games need better recognition, better promotion and better realization, as the core gameplay of Contra is still unmatched. Check. Hardware up. 